From avian long distance voyages to the epic salmon run, here are 12 of the most insane animal migrations. Number 12, Ruby-Throated Hummingbird. These small birds measure less than four inches long or nine centimeters and weigh about as much as a US nickel. They breed throughout most of the eastern United States and parts of Canada, but it likes to spend its winter in the warmer climates of Florida, Mexico, and Central America. Some of these birds undertake a migration that involves a non-stop flight of more than 900 miles. Maybe the animal's high metabolic rate helps it fly so far. Hummingbirds have heart rates up to 1260 beats per minute and take about 250 breaths each minute. That's even when they're resting. Number 11. Monarch Butterflies These majestic insects have been noted for their exceptionally long annual migrations, which can cover some 1900 miles or over 3000 kilometers. In August, millions of these insects will travel south from Canada and into Mexico where they will spend the winter. The northward migration starts in the spring. Along the way, females stop to lay eggs, after which they'll die. After the new butterflies have developed, they will complete the long journey. Since the distance of these journeys is longer than the monarch's normal lifespan, it can take up to four generations to complete the trip. Just how those subsequent generations of butterflies can follow an unfamiliar flight pattern is still a mystery to scientists. Even so, the massive migration of monarchs is regarded as one of the world's most spectacular natural phenomena. Number 10. Christmas Island Crab Migration These crustaceans have a carapace that measures less than 5 inches wide, and it's a good thing they don't grow any bigger than that. Upwards of 50 million of these critters are estimated to inhabit Christmas Island and Cocos Island in the Indian Ocean. Contrast that with a human population of less than 2,000 individuals. No wonder why these animals take over the Australian territory every year as they undertake a mass migration to lay their eggs in the ocean. The red crabs emerge from the forest to travel to the shoreline to do their duty. As the migration takes place, streets and roads are closed and tourists are advised to watch their step. While the sight of all of those land crabs swarming over the island might seem a little scary, it's a hugely popular spectacle that takes place at the start of the rainy season in October. Number 9. Sardine Run, South Africa Each year from May through July, billions of sardines will spawn and swim north along South Africa's east coast and engage in a feeding frenzy along the coastline. Not much is known about this phenomenon, but experts think the water has to drop under 21 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Fahrenheit before the mass migration takes place. The connection between the temperature and the sardines' behaviour still isn't understood. What is certain is that all those sardines attract dolphins, who round up the fish into bait balls that can measure up to 20 metres in diameter, 66 feet. Sharks, birds and whales will usually move in to take advantage of that opportunity. That's not unlike the salmon run, where predators like bears will likewise take advantage of the fish's migratory behaviour. Number 8. Caribou in certain areas of the world, these animals are better known as reindeer that mainly work during Christmas Eve. But during the off-season, some species of reindeer manage to stay busy by migrating up to 3,000 miles a year, that's 5,000 kilometers, and covering some 400 square miles, 1 million square kilometers of terrain. Experts say that ranks as one of the farthest migrations of any terrestrial mammal. When the animals migrate during the spring, smaller herds will combine into a single massive herd containing up to 500,000 reindeer. By autumn, the herds will begin to separate and become smaller again. Number 7. Cobb Antelope In 2007, scientists discovered what they believed was one of the biggest animal migrations on Earth. Southern Sudan was the location of vast herds of antelope and gazelle migrating through a region thought to have been stripped of its wildlife by civil wars that raged for 20 years. But an abundance of antelope, the white-eared cob in particular, was found to number more than a quarter million individuals in the region. Overall, an aerial survey revealed the existence of over a million antelope, elephants, ostrich, gazelle and other creatures. Cobb antelope are known for participating in some of the largest mammal migrations on Earth. Columns of these antelope and other animals can stretch for some 50 miles long, 80 kilometers, and measure 30 miles across, or 48 kilometers, with more than 1 million individuals participating. Many people think these migrations rival the better known Serengeti wildebeest when it comes to putting on one of nature's greatest spectacles. Number 6. Wandering Glider This small species of dragonfly is known by several common names, including the globe skimmer. That's a good name for these insects, since their migration ranks as one of the farthest known of any insect species. But the twist in this migration is that it works kind of like a multi-generation relay race. Their journey covers more than 11,000 miles, 18,000 kilometers, and no one individual creature makes the entire trip. 
Since breeding occurs during the sojourn, the individuals of succeeding generations will fly about 3,700 miles each, or more than 6,000 kilometers. This behavior is similar to that of the monarch butterfly migration that we've discussed earlier. In both cases, a new generation is able to navigate their way to a place they've never been, but how they do this is still unknown. Number five, gray whales. These marine mammals can reach lengths approaching 50 feet, 15 meters, and weigh some 80,000 pounds, or 36 metric tons. Their annual migrations attract a lot of attention as the animals start their journey in the Bering Sea of the Eastern Pacific Ocean. It takes them about three months to cover some 6,800 miles, 11,000 kilometers, to the south where they stop at the Gulf of California. With a round trip of around 13,700 miles, or 22,000 kilometers, this is regarded as the longest annual migration of any mammals. Did you know these whales have been spotted away from Pacific waters? Sightings of grey whales have been confirmed off the coast of Israel and Namibia in southern Africa. Number 4. Bar-tailed Godwit among all birds, this species has the longest known migration that is flown non-stop. When it's springtime in the Northern Hemisphere, the animals will leave New Zealand and flocks will fly to the mudflats of the Yellow Sea off the coast of Korea and China. That's a journey of nearly 7,000 miles, 11,000 kilometers flown non-stop. In 2007, a tagged female specimen was documented to continue her migration from China to Alaska, where she stayed for the breeding season. Later that year, she was documented to embark on a non-stop flight that took her from Alaska back to New Zealand. That epic journey covered about 7,250 miles, 11,700 kilometers, and established a new known flight record. Number 3. The Greatest Show on Earth Wildebeest are large, strong animals found in the plains and woodlands of parts of Africa. Every year they take part in an epic display of nature that many have called the greatest show on earth. The animal's annual trek through the wilderness covers an area of 150 square miles or 388,500 square kilometers in Africa. In November, when short rains start in Tanzania's Serengeti, up to 1.5 million wildebeest take that as their cue to search for better grazing land. The herd will stay put to feed on fresh grass until the following March, when the calves are born. The Serengeti wildebeest are heading north by May, running at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. As their search continues for grazing land and fresh water, hundreds of thousands of additional beasts including zebras and gazelles will join in. By the time October rolls around, the epic adventure will have covered about 1,000 miles or 1.6 thousand kilometers. After the animals head back south, the cycle will once again repeat itself. Number 2. Salmon Run The adults of all species will migrate from oceans to drop their eggs in the freshwater streams where they were born. The salmon run happens when millions of the fish make their well-known journey upstream. Experts say it can be an exhausting struggle as the animal has to fight its way against strong currents and rapids. Some species like the sockeye salmon must migrate over 900 miles 1, kilometers, and climb up to 7,000 feet 2 .1 kilometers, before they can spawn. And they have to deal with predators that take advantage of the salmon run. That includes grizzly bears and bald eagles who probably mark this event on their calendars. Once the spawning is accomplished, the salmon die and the cycle repeats. Experts still unsure how the fish can locate their spawning location so accurately. What do you think? Number 1. Arctic Tern If you think you've got a long commute to work every morning, consider the case of these medium-sized birds. Every spring, these animals take wing to embark on a convoluted migration that zigzags from Antarctica to Africa and carries into South America. They'll then head to the North Atlantic, where they finally stop at Greenland. About six months later, they'll retrace that migratory route back to Antarctica. It's a journey that can cover some 44,000 miles, 70,800 kilometers altogether. Because these birds travel from one end of the Earth to the other, they're recognized as having the animal kingdom's longest known migrations. Experts say that over the course of a 30-year lifespan, the Arctic Tern could rack up 1.5 million miles, 2.4 million kilometers during these annual migrations. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, the subscribe button isn't that far away. Click the red button and hit the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.